name is Pinky Galani and you are watching Pinky TV. This is What Women Want Online, a place where you get to meet incredible people sharing their stories of resilience, hope, hope and excellence. We are filming this from The Social House and these conversations are brought to you by SBM Bank and powered by Safaricom. Often referred to as the president's niece, but is a powerhouse in her own right, a single mom and a person who has won her battle against addiction and one of the very few female CEOs in Kenya. She has a deep love and passion for her country, the queen of Team 5 Minutes, where she allows herself to be seen as a person as opposed to a personality. Something that you don't know that she used to be is a DJ a brand in so many ways, and the most important thing, a humble human being, and someone I am proud to call my friend, Nana Kishaga. Hey, Vicky. Nana! <laughs> I love hanging out with you. I love your energy. I love who you are and who you've become. I think you are just amazing. Thank You're you. A phenomenal and person. And thank you so much for having me here. Of course. And also, like I said, yeah, every time we, we hang out, it's, yeah. you know, it's five minutes turned into like, Two hours. I know. Three hours. Always. Um, but it's been, you know, a uh, long, long, long friendship. Yes. And love you right back. Yay. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> and I, here I am. And here you are. Here we are. Here this we are. Amazing. Yes. You're always so open. You're always so relatable. You're such, and like I said in my intro, which I think is so unique to you, is that you're, despite, you know, who you are and everything that you have, you're so grounded and humble. Thank um, you. <laughs> so, you know, hats off to you. Thank you very much. So, I would say that you've converted heartbreak into hard work. And, you know, you, you've said a lot of the times, even when we've had conversations, you like to fight for the underdog. Do you consider yourself an underdog? I do. I do. And even going back to your first statement, you know, heartbreak and hard work. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. You've summed me up <laughs> and uh, definitely going to use that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yes, I mean, there have been many heartbreaks. Um, I mean, that's, that's your life, you know, yeah. it's, it's not unique in any way. Um, but I have to say, yes, definitely converted it now into the hard work, you mm -hmm. know, and, and not to go off on a, on a comparison, but like Elizabeth I, yeah. you know, back in the day when she's yeah. like, I'm married to England, you know. Oh, it's, wow. um, uh, I haven't got to the point of saying that into the mirror yet. <laughs> I'm married to Kenya. But, um, you know, with, with that kind of thing. And yeah. I think it's also just, you know, if there's, if there's not a right fit mm -hmm. with a person, I'm at a point now where I know what doesn't work. Mm. So um, I just leave it out. Yeah. I find, if I find happiness um, in that area, yeah. great. If not, then my cup is, my cup is full already. Yeah, got amazing friends, so. amazing family, and three wonderful little boys. So yeah. um, I, I, I can't complain. With, I, with that and stuff, I you know, think, so yeah, that's it's good. And, and being the underdog, definitely, you know, in, in so many areas. And um, one mainly is, you know, definitely, you know, from a young age, I can remember, um, you know, I suffer from dyslexia, mm -hmm. which again is very common. It's yeah. not a, um, you know, a one in zero, zero, yes. two million or 200 million type of thing. It's very common. And, um, you know, even my father, he was, he, he is dyslexic, was dyslexic, still is alive, so with, um, with that. Yeah. But again, um, I was very fortunate to be able to have, you know, um, after school tutors. And really what they did is just find me um, a toolkit, yeah. you know, so um, got extra hours to do my exams, you know, teaching in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, and this was all at seven years old, so really wow. it was a very, and a lot of the times you find this out when you're 15, 16, mm -hmm. after you've been, you know, labeled. Yes disruptive or, a, you know, a, a class clown or whatever yeah. your teachers do just because they don't yeah. get to the proper diagnosis. So very fortunate in that way. And again, yeah, just, um, you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, as, as you know, um, you know, I may be, and that's maybe a side that people do come, kind of come across. I'm a Rottweiler. I'm, yeah, you know, um, you <laughs> happy, happy, you know, don't let, don't, don't let this, Nana. you know, uh, <laughs> you know, this smile fool mm. you kind of thing. So yes, as an underdog, I do believe I am, you know, just um, from those type of life lessons, yeah. you know, situations that I've had in my life where I've had to, you know, fight for myself um, uh, with, with that and stuff, you know, coming in, uh, having meetings, speaking to somebody on the phone, they then, um, you know, expect when you're coming into the meeting, they don't expect to see this. Yes. They expect them to see because of, you know, I guess the way I talk or what yeah. it is or somebody a lot older. So with, with that and stuff, so yes, definitely an underdog and will always be fighting for that. I love to yeah. be the voice um, 
of that. So. Yeah, and you really are. Yeah. You really and I always just go with what I feel yeah. is, is second nature. You know, if someone was to come and tell me, you know, we really got to push for this vaccine or yeah. this medical thing, I'm kind of like, mm. yeah. Maybe go look for somebody else, kind of thing. <laughs> not that I don't care, but I just can't. If I can't relate to it and I can't feel it, then yeah, it's not real. I can't. Yeah, you know, it has to come. That, yeah. That's what you are. You're very real and genuine. Mm. Is it a thorn in your side that everybody, including myself, refers to you as the president's niece? Ah, uh, no, but you is joking. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> that's that, that's that's something very different. But um, I think it, you know, in it, like I said, it's this is just where we are now, yeah. currently. Mm -hmm. Um, known as the president's niece. I mean, before that, 42 years ago, it was Jomo Kenyatta's granddaughter. Yes. You know, then after that, it's Odi Kishaga's daughter. Yeah. It's Jenny Kenyatta's daughter. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, um, Jomo's sister. Yeah. Soya's sister. Yeah. You know, as you're saying, even, you know, Odi's mama. Mama Odi. You know, and, and um, but like I'm saying, I think now, 42 years later, hopefully, yeah. um, I'm slowly coming out of my shell because yeah. it's, I think that's why we get along very well because, you know, it's kind of like we're shy. Yeah. but very outgoing when we need to be, yeah. um, you know, so that kind of thing. So slowly coming out of my shell mm -hmm. in terms of, of, um, of, of letting people kind of see the other side of Nana, yeah. because before I was kind of like, you know, do they really care? Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. they've really got a perception. And that was really it. Like you said, you're from this family. This is what you are. What possibly could you know about you know, Other things. being broke, yeah. what possibly could you know about heartache? What possibly yeah. could you know about, Struggle. you know, ex all of that kind of stuff? Um, you know, I, I've been in uni, I, you know, you finish your pocket money or whatever, you've got to get to the <laughs> next month, yeah. you know, yeah, or, all of lessons. that kind of stuff, yeah. you know? So we've all been there. Again, just because I don't share that same um, uh, 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 issue or challenge or or, you know, something with you, but it's the common thing at the end. Yeah. You've gone through something that has been um, uh, life-changing or a lesson learned. Yeah. It's shaped so, you um, yeah. and shifted you. Yeah. Um, you've been very, very open about your journey with addiction. Mm -hmm. And even when, you know, I invited you, I'm like, is it okay if we talk about it? Um, Definitely. I mean, it's it's part of me. Yeah. yeah. So let's, let's just go back in mm -hmm. time and... You know, if you can take us through it, like at what point did you hit rock bottom and realize that this is not the person you want to be or the place that you want to be anymore? No, definitely. And I would have to say it was, um, and of course you don't get up one day and you're, you know, and for me the addiction was, was, was drinking. Yeah. Um, but of course you've got many other addictions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I kind of just really, you know, it's that thing of numbing out what you've tried, what you were, you know, around. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I can't even go to a doctor's office and get blood work. So needles were out. So, you know, even if it's yeah. a numbing agent for that, yeah. all of those other um, drugs that you needed that for was, yeah. was out, you know. Um, and I guess also, and it was just started off as being social, as it does. Yeah. So the drinking with that. Um, and then, obviously, it, it just starts coming in. You know, you're, like you said, you know, expectations, people coming on. And, you know, you'd be going out and you just want to have a... a, a a quiet night with your friends mm -hmm. and you know somebody comes up to you and is like oh can you do this for me can you do that for me when you genuinely can't and then when you say that they're just like oh you're just being selfish and yeah. you know um and i guess also even every family has it their own family issues you know um i'm a product of divorce yeah. um at a very young age uh, my parents got divorced when i was three um so again that that for me personally it's nothing to do with my parents or yeah. my si you you are going to go through heartache you know, again, um, felt, you know, for me, my issue was, you know, maybe I'm not good enough. Not maybe I'm not that. That was my issue. Yeah. So, again, it beats you down. And, of course, as you get older and, and, and with that, it, um, it comes more into the forefront, you know. So um, you start becoming more aware of it and you start, you know, demons you don't want to face. So I, my drinking, you know, I mean, at the beginning of drinking, you're thinking you're a hoot. Mm. You know, life of the party, the people are busy weaning off, coming off to the ends, you know, not wanting to hang out with you. And then the party turned into one. And it got to the point where, you know, I would wake up. Um, I was at university, um, you know, and I had uh, actually even flunked out of the one university and now I was at a junior university, junior college in the States. Um, and uh, uh, I think it was just everything, you know, you've come from being a jock or 
you know, yeah. that type of thing in high school. And then now you're going back to the bottom again. And you, along with all your other baggage, yeah. you know? Um, and so with that, so basically, you know, it just got to a point where I would just wake up. But again, my day would be waking up at um, four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I would crawl. And of course, you knew, so I had a fridge in my room and mm -hmm. they were always stocked. Um, and shotgun a beer, sit up, shotgun another one, um, go to the shower, have another one, mm -hmm. come back, get ready, music's playing, you're already feeling good yeah. and you know, all of that kind of stuff, have another one. Um, again, I was 21 years old, so the, in the land of the free, yeah. you can go to any bar. So, of course, there was a bar in my town. And um, I would go in there and, um, again, now drink. And, of course, you're that person that you see in a bar. You're yeah. party for one, bartender's your friend, mm -hmm. and he's going to tell you whatever you want. You're paying him, basically, yes, you know. Yeah. Um, and, of course, in Massachusetts, um, you finish at about 1, 1 a.m., but again, um, by that point, I was always out of it, you know. Um, and but again, I I had made sure my lifestyle was cat was catered for. So obviously, you have campus security, and I used to keep them on retainer, wow. pay them. They would yeah, come and that's... collect me. Wow. Make sure I'm back. So I mean, it's it's a functional <laughs> alcoholic, you know. You just they would make sure they'd come and get me, bring me back to the dorm, make sure I'm I'm in there. So again, you're. You know, you're, you're, you're really cushing your, your lifestyle. Yeah. You're just making sure, so again, I'm not being attacked when I'm coming yeah. back. I'm not doing whatever. So you're giving yourself the best environment to do what to you need to do. To allow yourself to. So again, and I think in hindsight, that's very good because, I mean, I could have gotten yeah. into so many other types of things, you know. And um, that was a spiral situation for a good six, six to eight, nine months. That was my life. Um, and it would be, you know, uh, beer was my drink of choice. And then obviously with shots, mm -hmm. Southern Comfort. Um, whiskey never really, well, Southern Comfort is a brown liquor, but whiskey, you know how people can have whiskey? It never really did that, yeah. or, you know, or yeah. cocktails, or yeah. it was just, I was a, you know, your beer chick, yeah. you know, and then downing it with, with shots. Um, yeah, and then one day it just all caught up with me. Um, I'd, and of course, it'd be a whole other scene when you get back into your dorm room, you know. Um, so again, I had also been able to, you know, pay off my roommates. I got my own room because oh. obviously when you're in, so I really had catered for myself very yeah. well. But again, one, one evening I'm there and I'm, you know, um, it all, it all catches up with you. Of course, with the influence you got, you know, I used to play foreigner. I want to know what love is mm -hmm. blasting it, you know, man in the uh -huh. mirror and you're just sitting there singing by yourself. And, um, yeah, I just was like, I, I can't go on like this, you know. So um, fortunately, was able to turn it around, you know. And so that that came yeah. to you by yourself. Yeah, it yeah. was. So like I wasn't a, frog marched into intervention. Intervention. I mean, we had tried. Okay, my family had tried, and of course, you know, it's kind of like every time there's a family function, they're just like, damn, we hope she behaves, or you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. it, would, it would be you like that. that. There's, yeah, there'd be times when, you know, you're coming back from school or uni and, um, you know, I remember one time I had just been on the plane, downing drinks, arrived here, and I remember that vividly, you know, my father had to even come in to the baggage yeah. carousel because I was the only one left there just watching my bags <laughs> go around, you know, the, the whole flight had now left oh and, you know, and then... And of course, and those kind of memories also then, you feel guilty. You know, you're just like, oh God, I'm messing up. I'm really messing up. Yeah. But um, I tried to go to AA meetings a couple of times in the States, you know, done a stint of like three days and then you're kind of feeling good and you're like, people are telling their stories and you're like, well, I'm not that bad. That's yeah. not me. Yeah. Whoa, out of here. And then you end up going back into the bar, you know, so. But it got to the point where I just was like, um, I, 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 I want better for myself, so. Um, uh, with the help of, of course, uh, my sister, my brother, mm -hmm. uh, and my, and, you know, my mom and my dad, and just was like, look, this is the situation I'm in, and so came back to London. I had a very heart to heart conversation because at this point in time, you're going to also get to a point where your parents just don't believe anything you say anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, my dad was like, look, here's a ticket. Head back to Nairobi. There's no point even going. To, we're just pumping money into you. Just yeah. we'll we'll facilitate your life back at home. Um, and I just said, please, just give me this one chance. I found 
a rehab that yeah. you know I could have gone into Betty Ford I could have gone into any of these the yeah. priories and the UK said mm -hmm. no but I want to go somewhere where they solely focus on that I don't want to go where there's yeah. celebrities I don't want to go where yeah. I need to get clean um, so uh, he was like look kiddo it's at the, at the end of the road so it took my brother and my sister really persuading him so he agreed and he was like this is your last chance so of course with that you don't want to wait too long so two days later had a ticket uh, to Maryland and um, said goodbye to my, to my family and got on the plane. And that was, what, 21 years ago. Uh, July 4th, it'll be now, 21 years in, in July 4th. And Pinky, I kid you not, um, I drank everything on that. I'd never drank um, Thank you, Malibu. <laughs> I had it. You know, whiskey, I was now trying all of these, though. You hear Cavorcier, you know, hey, can I have a, you know, you're really pushing bring it, these, bring it, bring you know, everything. down the aisle, you're like, you know, um, all of that and stuff. And uh, I'm a ruler. Is, it, is that milky? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a coffee? Yeah. So I was just loading up because I knew this was the last time I'd said to myself. So you knew it. In I knew. Your heart. I'm, this and is since it. Since then, not a drop of alcohol. Not a drop. I mean, in the, I remember I got, I arrived in, a, in, in Maryland and there was a person from the, from the center, they had my name and I actually walked past them and I walked out to where the taxis were and I said, you know what, I could disappear for like a month, you know, I've got enough cash, I'm good and, and maybe then, but you're at your addiction thinking and yeah. of course you're, you know, totally drunk. I was like, then, you know, my family will be so concerned and they'll be, I'll yeah. be found and they won't even <laughs> notice that I took Didn't off. Go, yeah. And I just said, no. So I walked back inside. I went to the guy and I was like, that's me. And he was like, I thought so. I was oh, like, wow. cool. So got into the car, drove me to the center. And um, yeah, was there for a month. And here I am today and just feeling absolutely blessed with the choices that I made. Yeah. You know? So what, what do you need to tap into inside yourself in order for you to be able to... Uh, not you know, get to that, yeah. Because of course you're gonna, yeah. It's a battle. I think it's a war. It is. It is a war, and it's an ongoing war. Because yeah. you see, the day you forget how bad you got is the day you slip. Yeah. So, um, and by doing that, I always do. If it's you know being able to speak to people, just talking like yeah. this, even yeah, 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 sharing yeah. your story, um, you know, also speaking to you know school kids or anyone that will listen type yeah. of thing. But um, there'll be days, even now, where I have really bad days. But I was also again. Like I said before, the dyslexia in the toolbox, I was taught another, I was given my toolbox for uh, my addiction at rehab. You know, don't let it get too much. Um, you know, I have no problem going to therapy. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah. damn, you good. And I said, yeah, it's the same way I will send my child to tutoring. Yeah. I will go to therapy every week. Now, I may not have a lot to share mm -hmm. on one-on-one, -on -one, but for me, I know I need that because it's those conversations. I was very good at bottling it up. I was very good at hiding it. I was very good at, you know, not wanting to be a bother. Yeah. So it's a daily session. I mean, I don't see that any different than going to the gym. Yeah. Because if you can take care of your, yeah. you know, or dieting or whatever, yeah. I'm doing that as well. Um, you know, talk about the challenges I've had in the week and also the good things as well. Yeah. So um, that's probably what my, my grounder is. You know, I, I, I go to therapy. Yeah. But um, no, there's nothing to whisper No, exactly. No, but I'm kidding. Yeah, but I'm just like, you know, it's that, that's it for me. It's, yeah. Um, it's the same thing as, like I said, you know, going to the doctor if you need to, yeah, yeah, you know, with that, and it's not necessarily being unwell, it's, it's a lifestyle. I it's think this is what's amazing about you, Nana, such a public person, such a, you know, like uh, people look to you, you're, you're a celebrity in essence, and then, you know, being yeah. able to just share, yeah. because you, it's, it's a real human story that people can relate to. Some yeah. people go through the struggles as well. So where did Team 5 Minutes come from? And, yeah, it's and like, how do, you, how do you encourage people to look for that, you know, sort of like, come on, let's go, let's go yeah. within themselves? Because you don't always have that, like that motivation or the inspiration to get up and go. So, you don't, yeah. and I think I'm the worst at it. I mean, you know, <laughs> there have been there were times when, you know, we do our radio, talks and I yeah, don't even yeah, realize yeah. I've had the, <laughs> we've done the interview, you know. Um, so mornings are, are very hard for me. Um, they've gotten better in time, but still with that. But again, Team 5 is not really about the, the mornings, but it's, it is about the mornings, how you start your day. But again, just being very, I'm a real quotey person. I love reading good quotes. 
you know, um, work until you don't have to introduce yourself. Yeah. I love um, that one. You know, those kind of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, those kind of things. You know, I'm not afraid to eat alone. Yeah. That's what I bring to the table. So those kind of, yeah. so again, those feel good. Yes. You know, and this, those little sentences that kind of get you going. You know, some people have music. Some people have quotes. Um, some people have a mood board. Mm -hmm. Some people have just a sticker on the mirror yeah. when they're brushing their teeth in the morning or, or getting ready. But um, for me, that's, that's, that's how Team 5 Minutes came about. And it's those five minutes in the morning. Um, and um, it was, yeah, it was probably one of my proper first posts. You know, I'd yeah. done a few things before on Instagram, left yeah. for like a good two years <laughs> and came back, um, you know, and uh, with, with that. So it was just those five minutes in the morning, you have a choice. And, um, and again, to be very honest, you know, you can get up, start your day. And by the time you're hitting the shower, you're like, you've even forgotten about that struggle you had in the bed. Yeah. But again, you can hit the snooze button and the next thing you know, it's two hours later mm -hmm. and you are playing catch up yeah. for the rest of the day. And that's, those are the kind of feeling. And we, I even still have it. You know, some days when you're just like, damn, and you just like, you just, yeah. you just don't feel you've got, you, it's either take control of the day or the day takes control of you. Yeah. You know, and I like to take control of the day. <laughs> so um, that's really where Team 5 Minutes came. So it was yeah. kind of like, you know, and just basically spinning off of that. What else can you do? We get up in the morning, you know. Um, of course, you know, some of us may be hoofing the pavement, looking for a job. Some of us may be at a different part where they get in the job. Um, some of them may be at a career path where they're deciding, am I getting out of this, am I not? Um, even with your personal life, all of that. Just the best way you can equip yourself in the morning is also going to, determine your day and that's what team for five minutes is yeah. about is trying to get you that um and also with check-ins mm -hmm. you know because again it's always about doing and rewarding <coughs> so again you know when you've done a good a, a good a good day yes it doesn't necessarily have to be work it could be whatever it is but you are happy with how your day has been at around five six o'clock then sing yeah sing sing <laughs> you know um have a nice little cup of coffee or yeah. hot chocolate or you know Toast, have a drink, do whatever you're going to do, but just acknowledging that I've gone through this, I've had a good day, um, because there's going to be, and, and, and put them in your, in your, in your chest, yes. because there's going to be, uh, like your war chest, because there's going to be other days where you get to that point as well, and you're on the other spectrum. Yeah. You are. It's not a good it's day. It's not okay. You've maybe had bad news, or you've just not, um, it's just not been a good day, you know? So it's also using that spectrum of you know, negative energy rubbing off negative energy and positive energy. So again, I push Team 5 Minute guys and be like, look, if you've got that good day, share it. Yeah. So let it rub off on, on somebody. Yeah. You know? So when you're having that bad day, hopefully that energy will come back to you. Absolutely. So uh, that's, that's really, and, and there's really nothing to Team 5. There's a bit of motivation in there. There's a bit of singing in there. There's a bit of real talk. Yeah. You know, no, um, I love your team five minutes. I think you're thank awesome. You. I, I, need mean, to, I need to get back into it a bit more yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah, I need to. Yeah, because yeah. it does show us Nana. Yeah. Yeah. And then for a CEO to be doing that, you know, because CEOs are pretty strict on how they behave. Yeah. It's nice to see a CEO being real. Yeah. And I think it's, you know, and it was never planned. I think it was just me. And, and I honestly believe and you're the same way as well. You know, you just... You don't know, not everybody's going to like you yeah. and too bad, but this is me. I yeah. can't put up a facade for that long, Absolutely. you know, um, I'm, I'm the worst liar. I'm the worst at all of that. So even with me. Yeah. So, um, again, you know, for me personally, if I, I dress the part, yeah. if I'm going to be receiving presidents at KSCC, I will dress the part. Yeah. But if I'm going to be sitting in my office, um, signing checks or reading, yeah. I don't need to be in a tight number. It's true. I, 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 don't, I, I can't even concentrate, you know? So, um, and yeah. quite honestly, because I'm wearing the suit does not mean all of a sudden... You're not that person. Yeah, or all of a sudden I'm getting the powers of a CEO. Yeah. I can make the right decisions. Heck no, I can do the same in a tracksuit. Absolutely. You know, so that I'm an unconventional CEO and I make no apology for it. It's, yeah, you've, um, you've said that a no, few times. Unconventional it's... CEO. You've also said that you're one of the few who've broken the glass ceiling. Yes. Um, you know, you're a young CEO. You're in, in government. government. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it's... Yeah, I mean, so... I've also... You've, your shoulder has seen many tears of that oh yeah man 
But, so you know, thank it's, you for that. It's, for I'm, I'm, I'm always here for you. No, but how I'm do not. you prepare yourself for, for such a role? You know, when you get the call and you're being told, okay, so we want to interview you for this job or you apply for this job. How do you prepare yourself for this one? And then you're, you're preparing yourself, but you also know that now you're swimming with sharks. Huh. Yeah, so, you know, people... Make sure going, you don't cut yourself. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. You know, you're young, um, you're, you, you're the president's niece, um, you're now going for a government job as a CEO, of course, you know, and you have KOT, of course. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah. that was the first, yeah. <laughs> my first dose but of what that. What do you tell your, in, what's your internal dialogue? I think, um, you know, one thing that we've not really covered, uh, I'm extremely ambitious. Mm -hmm. You know that. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I always joke, if I'd been this brain in a man's body, ah. <laughs> watch out. Yeah. You know, um, uh, but extremely ambitious. Yeah. Um, even to a point where if it's monopoly, mm -hmm. the game, you know, I came to win. I came to, yeah. you know, with, with that and stuff. And I guess, you know, um, and it's also where you can put it, where you can't, where you tone it yes. up, tone it down. Yeah. You know, um, I think one of the mistakes I've also done is really um, simplify myself in a relationship just because, uh, you know. Um, don't let your, shine, yeah. your light shine. Yeah, because, you know, and yeah. I'm at a point where I'm like, heck, who cares? This is me. You yeah. know, and I, and I, we, we will make a good team if, you've, if you see that. Yeah. But back to the CEO thing. So again, having that ambition, having that drive, I th you know, again, back to quoting, um, you know, uh, Wherever you want to be in two years' time, you prepare now. So you're not preparing when you get the call to come in. You, that should have been two years ago. So wherever, wherever you want to be, you have got to start preparing at least two years in advance for that. You may not know what it is. You know that whole fake it till you make it kind of thing? Mm -hmm. If you know you want to be a leader, but you don't know what kind of leader you want to be, mm -hmm. again, what type of, what is a leader to you? You know, some then people look at... Show up as that person. Exactly. Play that role. Start before. So when that casting call comes in, you're ready. It's second nature, yeah. you know? So um, I think really with that, but advice I would give, I would say um, it's very important first um, uh, find out who you are yeah. because, you know, you may want to be a doctor, but you just, that's, you may not cut it. You know, you may want to be a, a politician. You've got to have damn thick skin. You've yeah. got to roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. That may not be with you. You may want to be a mother and stay at home. Mm -hmm. That is equally as rewarding and good. And if that's your, your nurture, you know, mm -hmm. go for that. Um, so really pick out what you want to do and then just um, arm yourself with that, you know. Uh, but again, pre preparation, it, it didn't. Um, like I always say, uh, you know, um, uh, my only concern in life is whether or not I will uh, find a partner. Oh, uh, really? Anything else? I will succeed. I will do it. Um, like that may be sounding very arrogant. That I may be just it. the confidence that I have for that. Um, I don't know what it will do, but I know whatever I decide, I will, I will excel at it because that's just my drive. So um, I, I think it's really having an AGM with yourself, um, the advice I can give, and just and be real because it's, it's, it's your life. This is not a dress rehearsal. So mm -hmm. what is it that you want to um, do? What, what legacy do you want to leave? And, and start working towards that. Mm -hmm. You know, have a book, write down um, your, your, your do's and don'ts of your life. Yeah, um, I think you're ahead of your time, Nana. I think that, you, you, like you said, you are a very clever person, but way ahead of your time as well. And this is a good thing, you know, because it means you have foresight. So um, I want to talk about, you know, your legacy, your babies, yes, being yeah, a yeah. mummy. No, you said, you. Yeah, yeah. you know, being a single mom, it's not new, it's not a new narrative, yeah. it's not unique to you. But, you know, when you think about your kids, like any mom, you want the best for them. Of course. And, you know, a lot of us, we, we write down, okay, this is what I want for my children. We leave them money, we leave them land, we leave them blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to ask you something. If you could leave them a strategy, like if you could write down a strategy mm -hmm. or something in a paragraph, mm -hmm. what would it be? What strategy would you give them so that they could go on to be who they need to be in their lives? Um, I would say, uh, so basically a letter, mm -hmm. you know, 
Um, and I would, key points, uh, first and foremost, always be yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and, and don't be afraid to be yourself, whoever you are, because that is the first positioning. Um, you know, if, if you're trying to pretend to be somebody, it's like a found, so I'd basically say, consider foundation, consider yourself building a house. Um, and with that, you start with the foundation. And the foundation would be, uh, uh, be yourself. Because if you don't have a steady foundation, even once you've built the house, it will not, it'll last for a year, it'll last whatever, but it will not life long yeah. standing. So I would, that would, so for foundation, I would say, be yourself. Once you start coming up, and uh, you know, building the, 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 the structure of, you know, where's this, you know, you've got some walls that are gonna be just for show and you've got some that are actually gonna be holding up the, the structure. Mm -hmm. How, you want a, a bungalow? Do you want a two story house? Mm -hmm. Do you want, a, uh, you know, a you want to go into the basement? Yeah. Um, so again, point two, once you've now been yourself, you know, um, uh, I'd say don't be afraid to fail mm -hmm. because failing is actually a lot more rewarding than succeeding. Uh, you know, you, you always remember your failures, but you don't necessarily always remember your successes, yeah. Yeah. you know? So um, that would be my second one, mm -hmm. is don't ever be afraid to fail, and you are going to fail a lot. And from that uh, paragraph or thingy of failure, uh, make sure you learn at least three lessons mm -hmm. from that failure um, and use it to advance. Um, number three would be your fake walls, mm -hmm. which would be the flip side of that. And that would be, don't be afraid to succeed. Because as much as you have the failures, you also need the successes to remind you that you can also get to the next step. It's a feel-good factor. Yeah. Everybody wants to be, feel appreciated. Everyone wants mm -hmm. to feel. So your successes will do that for you. Now, success, again, what is success? Failure, you know what failure is. Um, but success is a bit more harder. So yeah. find out under that success part, what are your successes? Successes may be, my end game is to have a child. Yeah. My end game is to um, be a doctor, mm -hmm. be in my career path. So once you've pinpointed your successes, make sure you also celebrate your successes as much as you do your, your failures um, with that. Hmm. Um, what else would I say? Live. Yeah. Um, uh, don't be a prisoner in somebody else's life. Wow. Yeah. Um, don't, don't be a prisoner in somebody else's life. That would probably be the staircase going to the next floor. Yeah. Um, it's extremely important. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, again, as taking a next step in your life, yeah. you know, um, uh, because that's now with your friends, with your relationship, with, with that, because um, uh, I've, I've, I've stayed in relationships just because, yes. you know, but um, I, I, at a very young time, I said, I've been here. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been here and I've seen it. I've seen people stay in relationships just because of the children. And um, what, Kenya wasn't even born yeah. when, I, when I walked out. Wow. Well, threw him out, but whatever. Um, <laughs> That's a cut story the cord. For another day. Exactly. <laughs> um, with, with that and stuff. But you know, again, um, so again, with that, you know, don't just don't, don't be held ransom to anything. And again, when you're looking at that in your work, in your life, in your personal life, that same thing with that. Um, and then the other one would be live. Yeah. Live. live, you said, you did say live. But yeah. live, so there was the one about don't hold yourself yeah. ransom and yeah. then and live. 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 And live. I smile with that because, again, it's, um, you just, yeah. Yeah. You know? It's important. Um, and happiness, mm -hmm. again, would be another bit of advice. Find your happiness. Yeah. And safeguard it. You know, safeguard your happiness when you find it. Um, and, uh, I think those are really the, the key pillars. Yeah, I think you that's know, and, very, very You know, and a lot of times when I, you know, when I talk about that, people are like, oh my God, you know, you don't talk about money, you don't talk, yeah, save, yeah. do all of that. But yeah. if you can get that right, yeah. your other little trimmings, and that's now the type of couch you want in your house. Yes. 
wallpaper. Yeah. Those will come yeah. if you've built a house and succeeded at that. Yeah. Build your house and then furnish it yeah. with what you want. Because again, at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I've given you the yeah. foundation, but I'm also going to give you some leeway to, find your to fill it, to furnish yeah, it. Be yourself. Yeah. Wow, Nana. Yeah. yeah, I think we're all going to take something from that strategy. I really do think so. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you are on any of my social media pages, make sure that you are following us. YouTube, by the way, you can um, grab your phone right now and uh, dial star 504, hashtag OK. Reply with zero and you get 200 MB for, uh, of YouTube just for 20 bob from Safaricom. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, these conversations are brought to you by SBM Bank. SBM Bank is always thinking of you, their client, and they have the Go Cashless campaign through the waiver of mobile banking charges, which they are pushing at the moment. For your chance to win, head over to our Instagram page or my public Facebook page and subscribe to our newsletter and you could be the winner of a brand new phone courtesy of Safaricom. Nana and I would Good. love to hear from you. We'd <laughs> love to know what you took, took away from today's definitely, conversation. Definitely. There's so much in our conversation today that um, I don't know how much of this you've revealed to anyone else. I'd take offense if, it, if you've revealed all this to other I people. I haven't. Nah, there you I go. haven't. I haven't. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, even just, I guess it just comes in the conversation. Yeah, so yeah. it's how you, yeah. you bring the best out of me. Yay. So make sure you comment. Let me know what you no, think. Let us know what, for that. What, um, what you have taken away from this conversation. Nana, thank you so much. Thank you as it's well. It's been thank, an honor, a privilege. I love talking to you. I love Me your too, energy. And... I love how you are such a good human being. And I think that's extremely important. Thank you. And I want to just take the time out as well. Um, you know, you started off with saying that, um, you know, a very good friend and that you are. And, oh, um, you. you know, I think it's also important to, um, to recognize people oh. when they have when they've played a major role in your life so pinky <laughs> love you lots and thank you for um just being there uh, always you know, thank you always thank you always for that. on this show we have conversations that aim to inspire and we hope that it causes you to take a deep dive within yourself to find out who you are real power is always internal real power is self-love Real power is from your core and real power comes from authenticity. There's nothing like showing up as your authentic self. Find that person and show up as that person every day. The world will be grateful that you did. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again real soon on Pinky TV.